video follows on from the push challenge we did last week where we had to make a track in under an hour using Ableton Push and also without looking at the computer. I was really happy with the session, um, especially working with Viv May, the vocalist who was an ex-student at Point Blank and someone I'd never met before. So in the session we used Push just to build up our ideas, build up some scene, beats, bass line, chords. Um, but for this video we're going to primarily be working at the computer. Straight after the challenge session, um, we actually decided to re-record the vocals using a better mic, a condenser mic. And uh, Viv was also keen to add some more harmonies and a bridge section too. Uh, we decided to do this straight into the arrange page just because I wanted to easily name the tracks and try out some ideas. It just felt, felt a bit more comfortable. So in this video we're going to try to illustrate a few techniques um, moving towards a finished track. I'm not sure if we're going to actually finish the tune, but certainly get a little bit further down the line. So we're going to have a look at the Consolidate Time to New Scene feature, uh, which is something new in Live 9, and that will enable us to actually put the vocals back into session view from the arrange view. We're then going to try to build our scenes, um, and then using Push again, we're going to record those scenes back into the arrangement. It will just allow us to improvise a little bit, try out some ideas. So here we have our range page and we've got four sections here. We've got a verse, uh, this new bridge section which I'm going to play in a minute, um, the chorus section and uh, there's this little tag uh, bit that she did at the end as well. So let's have a quick play of these sections. This is the verse section. We've waited, now the time has come around. So the vocal sounds a bit better, the quality I've sort of tweaked it, uh, we did a few takes, you know, just trying to get the best performance possible. Um, I've also um, done a bit of grouping as well, a bit of housekeeping, so we've got our lead vocal on a separate track here, and um, which has got its own compression and EQ and uh, a bit of reverb, and then I've grouped the BVs as well, and uh, I've used the glue compressor on those actually, and again some EQ and reverb. Um, but I've also done some panning. If we just quickly flick over to um, this session view, uh, you can see there's a bit of panning going on here as well. Um, and then finally, uh, I've made a music group where I've just basically put all uh, the musical elements, the beats, the bass line, and everything. So now let's have a quick listen to uh, this new bridge section. Love this little um, hook here, this yeah hook. Um, definitely looking to use that throughout the track if we can. Um, then we've got the chorus section, I'll just remind you of that. And I've just added a, a clap to that as well, just to lift that a little bit together with the string. And then finally we have this uh, tag section. <laughs> So um, it's great that we record it into the range page, but it's, uh, it'd be brilliant if we could then put it back into session view and then we can actually jam the arrangement down. So uh, it's a fantastic new feature. I really love this in Live 9 and uh, this is the consolidate time to new scene. And it's very, very easy to use. All you need to do is um, find a start and end time and just select it basically. So We've waited. the start and then you can see the vocals tail off at the end, so I don't want to lose that. I'm going to um, actually select just past that, so um, it's going to consolidate this amount of time here. So what we do is we select it, and then we go up here, consolidate time to new scene. Click on that. It does its work. There we go. And if we now flick over to the session view, uh, you can see here that it's created a new scene. And if we play it now, We've waited, now the time has come around, around. We've waited. so it's exactly the same but it's now in a scene so let's try the next section I'm just going to click this button to go back to the arrangement uh, and this is the same thing we're just going to select uh, this time here 
go up to consolidate time to new scene and if we're lucky that should put it just after our last section there we go we can flick between the two brilliant so now let's go to the chorus same thing select the time consolidate time to new scene and it should have done the same thing yep there we go and finally let's just do this last section here I'm just going to do the same thing here there we go and consolidate time to new scene there we go so we've now got our four sections and I'm going to go straight in there and uh, name them so we've got verse bridge so that's actually a chorus this is our bridge here it just did it obviously in the wrong order but it doesn't matter and then we've got our tag section here so this is where push steps in um, first of all, I'm just going to do a little bit of housekeeping uh, on the session view page. I'm going to just delete these clips here. Don't need those. Um, I'm actually going to just move this bridge and chorus around as well. So let's just put that there. There we go. So we've got those in the right order. And... Um, I'm just going to close up this BV section here. I'm going to click the session button on push and you can see there's a representation now of all these clips and we can then launch the scenes from push. So what I'm going to do is just work on uh, the verse section uh, for the moment just to build up uh, a bit of an intro. So I'm just going to uh, duplicate this scene a few times. Here we go. And what we can do is um, just kind of do a traditional build up. We can start with the beat. So I'm just going to take away uh, the bass and the chords here. And We've waited. Uh, we can also take the vocals away as well. So we have, this is our intro. And we could then maybe come in uh, with the cabasa. And then we could maybe come in uh, with the uh, electric piano riff. And let's duplicate that one more time. And um, we could then come in with uh, the bass. There we go. OK, so let's try recording this down. You can see I've just pressed this button here, which is going to enable me to stop the clip so I can do some drum drops or that kind of thing as we go along. So um, let's hit record and uh, let's go for it. There we go, you can see it going into the arrangement. Chorus, and then 
into this little tag section. And just like a little instrumental break, we could do something here, not sure yet. Okay, then in with the uh, second verse. We've waited, now the time has come around. It's come around, it's come around. Breathe back in. Be patient, cause the rush is not allowed. Beat out here. In with the bridge. Take the beat out here. I can't wait to see what you got planned, what the treat's gonna be, baby. Take all the beat elements out. I can't wait to see what you got planned, what the treat's gonna be, baby. And then with the tag. a very basic arrangement. Now of course we can go into more detail and start adding lots of production ideas. But I really wanted to illustrate how easy it is now in live to bounce between a range view and session view to make the arranging process much more fun and enjoyable. Yeah. I can't wait to see what you got 